Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hey, family. Bring it on in. As y'all all know, it's always green on the money team. Cue that wind effect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it in. Guys, guys, just a quick one day. Like I said, nothing's really changed and nothing's moved. Uh, we don't really have too many, much breaking news or anything that's really breaking news today. But like I said, we always going to tap in, keep everything up to date. But like I said, we got a video that I'm going to share with y'all from Charles Payne as a message to retail investors. Um, guys, I can't stress this enough. You need to have a portfolio for your momentum trades swing trades that you need that portfolio for your long term you need to buy in right now those banger assets and companies that are going to help you pile, pile drive and make it through this terrain and this shardy economy that we're about to run into because as these days pass i'm like oh hell but listen tesla nvidia xrp ace bar bitcoin uh, uh uh um what about microsoft amazon okay guys listen there's a lot of quality stock out here right now for cheap prices and the world's gener biggest generational wealth transfer is happening as we speak. Don't be fooled to thinking the big money out here confused and running around. No, no, no. Big money is out here buying the hell out of these stocks right now for 160. But nonetheless, let's double tap in here and see what our boy Charles Payne has to say to the group. Hey, baby. Let's get down to it. So I began working on Wall Street. I'm on the physical location when you had to work here in 86. And initially on the research end, then I was a broker. And I've had my own business in this uh, business for over 30 years. And it was clear to me early on that there's what I call an investor caste system out there. And exists mostly to either exploit or keep retail investors herded in a very narrow lane, right? Also keep those small brokerage firms from ever really being able to compete. Okay. In fact, every building back then Every floor had a brokerage firm. There was a lot of independent firms out there, and one by one, they went out of business. A lot of times because they didn't have the resource they needed to fight back against the SEC on matters that a lot of times are trivial and not egregious enough for them to go to bankruptcy. Uh, so the small firms went under, and then while that was happening, giant scams were developing, right? The Enrons of the world, the Bernie Madoffs of the world, and they just grew larger and larger. When there were direct overtures to retail investors, it was always mostly with ulterior motives, right? Like, hey, we love retail. Help us make government bigger. Help us pass Dodd-Frank, that kind of thing. So today when I read about the Department of Justice looking at the folks who are shorting banks, I was pissed, but not surprised. The administration already bailed out billionaire bank accounts, mm -hmm. right? And they really, here's what they messed up. They tried Guys, to this like, is what I was saying earlier where I was like, it's a good thing that the the spinoff of short selling can come and it's going to bring holts as far as stopping money from sh uh, short sellers which are going to be the same big short sellers that are in uh, you know sure the plays are in but mass majority this still though outrages me in the fact that y'all are going to protect banks right from the illegal malicious act of short selling but not just go ahead and protect the rest of the market this is what's been occurring but the government that lets you know that your government, your your SEC, clearly knows what short selling is and what's going on with it, and hence why they stopped it as soon as the blood hit the water with these banks, because they knew, oh, 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 these guys are gonna make this. this. Yes, they're gonna exacerbate the issue, but even worse, so you're stopping retail because retail would have been in there uh, able to cash in on that too. That's a shot at retail people. They were helping small businesses cover payroll. Come on. It's no wonder this banking scare continues to fester. Mm -hmm. But you know what? What this urgency right now to go to war never happened with retail investors, right? And it never will. It's all a farce. Mind you that these the money in these banks again also there's a lot of big money invested in these banks. SVB and them had a lot of people in there that they didn't tell you about that were highly uh, ha had a bunch of cash sitting in there or or were big depositors or, or big investors, right? There's this short them stopping the shorting thing. Don't mistake this has nothing to do with retail. Now can retail benefit off of it? Yes, I believe that through the grapevine we will benefit off of how the trickle and what it stops as far as the cash flow and spinoff but this was not about retail do not get that mistaken i'm telling you folks out there you have to speak up you never have you never give up uh, i know we vote people into power who would rather trade the market than That's hear your solid. pleas but still my plea to you is never stop 
Great tweets, one from uh, Kat Stryker saying, how can they regulate shorts on these over leveraged bankers who sell something they don't own? Make them settle the trades and don't bail them out. Make stricter policies and enforce them. Not a simple fine to continue the crime. I agree a thousand percent. No one, mm -hmm. by the way, ever goes to jail. Ryan wants to know, is this the new definition of fair and fair market? Fair, free and fair markets. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, Kristen is demanding settle all trades, right? And this is another thing, guys. Just like we we're banging out that court, at one point we're gonna have to get back to that situation where you're banging out uh, uh, to Gary Gensler, to the SEC, to FINRA, maxing out their offices with emails. Like you know, we're the majority. We're the majority in the field that you're like, oh, I, I feel like I'm powerless. I, the retail. We're in the beginning of this saga, but once we realize just how big we are, and once we get all this stuff coordinated where we don't have people going through the uh, uh, YouTube, it's all over, guys. I don't know why you're here. Hey, dude. Hey, listen. If you've been defeated, you can. This is called the market. What we're doing over here is we're learning. You're putting your tuition in. We got two different types of individuals. You got the individual that something happens to them, and they can be like myself. I take every loss as a lesson. There is no thing where I'm like, oh, I failed. I don't fail nothing, anything. I've never have failed one thing in my life. And that's just the type of person I am. I have never failed anything. I learned a lesson. I'm about to come back 10 times harder. But there's, there's no failure. That's a quitter's mentality. You're learning lessons. You're learning the market. Just like I learned, hey, I don't jump into an, uh, high risk plays with all my account anymore. Hey, that was somebody I had to learn coming in. Now I know if I'm dumping cash, I dump cash in my long-term investment. Someday I can be like, hey, all right, it was good over there. That, these are things that you have to learn. Those aren't failures. That's what made me a better trader where I'm at now, right? That's what has me understanding now is because I had to come in and get my ass whooped when I first came in. Same with college. Same with football. Same with your first fight. Now, I ain't never got my ass whooped with the first fight. Yeah, I've always had them hands. But you get the correlation. All right, let's tap back Don't into it. Don't protect the bankers and friend Ross. She wants to see Gary Gensler step up. So do I. Keep the stuff coming. We'll share more in future shows. But right now, give it over to my colleague, Liz Clayman. Thank you. Thank you, Charles Pizzle. Now, just coming in, guys, like I said, nothing is changing. Nothing's occurring. Do not get caught up in this day-to-day -day transaction. If, you, if, if you're shooken by this right now, first off, you need to uh, uh, check and see how over leveraged you are in your account. If you can't stand these days, you need to move some money around and set it up into portfolios that are long term so you have a peace of mind. But just know from everybody, all retail, our next place that we go to, do not be the type of person where you over lever you put so much into something that you can't even sit there and watch it. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, nothing's changing. Nothing's changing. When in doubt, pull out, go on to one hour. Relax, relax, relax. Just relax. Everybody relax. Come out here. Relax. This is where we've been coming from, guys. What was this? Last month? A month ago? 404? Relax. We're, we're, they, literally, I know that everybody can see this. This is called barcoding. This is not price movement. This You're literally just in an algos trade pattern, guys. And if you're going to sit up there each day, like, ah! guys, they're screwed. They can't let it trade. Why, you ask, Brandon? Well, you always know I'm about to bring some info to you. I'd never leave you hanging. Double checking in here, guys. The max pain right now for AMC is six bucks. Hmm. Well, now that we know that that information is so, that the max pain is six bucks, right? That might explain why. Every time you get up to this point here, right? They blow all the shit. That might explain why. All the 8 million shares, right, that they have populated up that were sitting up there are now gone. 450,000, they're borrowing at 136% with a 62% dark pool volume, right? Well, that would explain the correlation of why they're dumping everything they have, right, to stop this play from getting up above six bucks. But that should show you, right, that they're dumping everything they have. So how close is it to getting to six bucks? You're in an algorithm trade. Look at this. This is barcoding. Look at this. This is not an OTC play. <laughs> These bars don't look like this. Guys, you've got to understand, hey, they are in a predicament and things are falling apart beside them. 
uh, short interest at 25.95% going back up to 26% irrelevant. This is a thousand percent short interest. The, the, this is not the true price. We all know this stuff. I had to keep coming down and, and repeating it just because I read a couple comments. Mass majority of everybody's online understand. But just for those few people that don't understand what's going on and what we're doing here. We're not looking at the damn price, guys. We're looking at the situation. Y'all, oh, retail can be thrown on their head. Oh, hey, June 29th. June 29th. You want to oh, do it June 29th. How about that? Can we go two months? Can y'all sit here and act like y'all got something between your legs for two months? This is the only difference between retail and hedge funds. Hedge funds don't say a damn word. And I know it's still on a few, a few people, but it's still with me. Just I'm not a type of person where I'm going to be sitting up moping around, right? Especially in trading. Especially when you know, just like we're watching this video, y'all don't be down in them comments uh, uh, just throwing up bogus news. You have an opinion, oh yeah, I think the price is going down because of X, Y, Z. That makes sense. But don't go in there crying, right? Because you got to realize the same people that you're fighting against watch these videos. You understand? So it's, you, you've got to let the emotional cadence go out. Y'all are y'all know what's going on. We're giving step by step. There's so many sources. They're letting you know what's going on. There's no need to panic. God, this is algo trading. There's nobody selling. There's nobody buying. It's an algo. It's the same algo you've been, we've, we've been, what, since uh, two years ago, right? And I said the same thing last time. Two years ago, this is what occurred. Before the launch, at this same price point, what are we talking about? Hello, hello. Or, or do I need to remind y'all? Let me remind y'all what happened here. Oh, it's never going. I told you guys, you guys will never learn. You're never going to learn. That was it. All right. Hey, this is the same thing. <laughs> this is obviously the price was 72. This is out the stocks. So obviously you see charts off and things like that. But coming down. Hey, you're never going to learn. <laughs> look, let me pull over. <laughs> you're never going to learn. They say the same thing. You look, you're never going to learn, pop. See, I told you. Hey, guys, if it was that over with, why would they be shorting their pants off on the play? Why would they be shorting their pants off? Why would they be shorting their pants off? <clears throat> Fail to delivers. Uh, uh, T minus 35 completion uh, started on the 10th, right? So 05, 10, 21 million, right? That have closed today to settle out. They weren't covered. Uh, tomorrow, the 11th, $74 million worth. The 15th, $85 million. The, the 16th, $29 million. The 17th, $31 million. The 18th, $19 million. The 19th, $21 million. They're borrowing synthetics and blowing their brains out to bring the price down a couple cents, guys. Keep your head on. Keep your emotions in check. You got to keep in in order what's going on. Y'all don't be sitting up here each day. If you can't handle it, then you need to step back up off the chart and understand. Oh wait, I'm I'm in a time battle. I'm not even the price don't matter. You got to do this for two more months. Where are they going to take it down to, guys? Max Payne is six bucks. Max Payne is coming closer down to us. That means that they're shorting more. They're wasting more money. The max amount of money for them to be blowing into their account is coming closer to you. Relax, relax, relax. Every now and then, it don't hurt to grab your nuts. Grab your nuts every now and then so you know where you're at. Keep yourself in check. Ladies, you can't grab your nuts, but you can grab something else, all right? Hey, listen. Love y'all boys. Much support. Keep your head on straight. Hey. This is a battle of attrition. Now, if y'all ain't, hey, if you can't battle, then I understand. The stock market might not be for you. But investing in general is nothing but a battle.
what you're doing outside is a battle. Each day you go to work is a battle. And I'm just going to tell you, you're going to battle one way or the other. But I openly choose to battle this way, way more so than what's going on outside. Imagine that you aren't even invested in the stock market and you are just getting smoked by inflation. You just getting smoked in general and getting nothing. Hey, but that's nonetheless, baby. Hey, we are on the path to financial freedom over here. And hey, like we always say, it's, it's always green on the money team, baby. Hey, much love to y'all one more time. Much love for all the support. And we're going to have to hit it as we always do with them. Yes, sir.